Uh, basically, uh, as you may know, the main barrier to the use of CAR T cells are uh, the long term manufacturing and uh, the toxicity and also the cost associated with the use of autologous viral approach. Uh, we therefore decided to use uh, another approach that is uh, a non-viral engineering of an allogenic non-conventional T-cell population named cytokine inducer killer cells that is characterized by a good profile of safety in terms of graft versus host disease by using an improved platform of non-viral engineering using sleeping beauty transposone. And uh, with this platform, we, desi we designed a phase one, phase two trial located in Italy, in the pediatric department uh, of uh, uh, Monza and in the adult department of Bergamo. And we are uh, basically uh, arrowing a pediatric and adult patient in this phase one, phase two trial that are relapsed after allogenic and also uh, aploidatical transplantation and patient after having standard lymphodepletion chemotherapy undergoes to a single dose of CAR T cell administration and the cellular product is manufacturing starting from 50 ml of the blood of the previous transplant donor that are engineering by electroporation with sleeping beauty transmit encoding for CD19 third generation cars. And up to now, the uh, manufacture, uh, the cell process is, should, is uh, demonstrated to be very robust and we were able to manufacture all the cellular product for every enrolled patient. And the cellular product is mainly CDT positive with an average of 50% of color expression. That is quite good by, for using non-viral approach up to now. And um, basically we treat, uh, uh, as the data cut of dates in November last year, uh, nine adult patients and four pediatric patients. This patient had a history of uh, um, relapse after multiple preolinotherapy, at least one transplantation, in some cases two transplantation. And, um, uh, we did see in the majority of the treated patient uh, expansion as persistent of non-viral CAR T cells and the maximal expansion rate was similar to the one um, using the no in viral autologous like 70% uh, of circulating CAR T cells in peripheral blood of the patient and uh, up to now the persistent that we register is uh, uh, so far up to nine months so it's quite nice and um, I, I have also to see that uh, these engrafted CAR T cells seem to be uh, functional despite they are allogenic and non viral. Uh, with this C uh, clearance of disease in patients that were treated with eye disease burden after lymphodepletion, and this was associated with the CAR T cell expansion and persistence. Uh, uh, in addition, the, um, we treated uh, um, this patient with an IGAS dose and seven patients was, were treated with this IGAS dose. We obtained uh, six out of seven uh, complete remission and five of them were also MRD negative. And the toxicity profile was very good. We get only two uh, CRS of grade one and one of grade two without graft versus host disease, neurotoxicity and other dose limiting toxicity. And finally, uh, so far, four of these seven patients treated with the IGAS dose are still alive in complete remission with the uh, persistence of vector copy number. So I think these uh, data are very um, useful in terms of toxicity and efficacy and uh, have a strong ground um, when you think about using allogenic and non-viral approach in the next few years.